morning guys i thought i was starting up a vlog but it is tuesday morning i have just got back from my boyfriend's where i stayed last night walked the dog quickly and it is nearly 11 o'clock i think so i need to go down and do some work i'm still working on my criminal justice and evidence essay i actually wrote over a thousand words yesterday so yesterday was a really productive day for that but i'm going to london later so i've got about three hours to get some solid work done until I need to go there. But yes, I didn't do any work last week because I was in Mercia and then I got back on like one o'clock Saturday morning. Then I had my friend's birthday on Saturday night and I had a family dinner and I was hungover on Sunday. So I had a full work day yesterday. My exam's coming up pretty quickly. I think I've got like two weeks until my first exam. I would like to finish my essay by the end of this week just so then I can move on to revision like completely but I don't know if that's going to happen because I've only read for the first half but I have nearly finished the first half of the essay and then I will start reading for the second half of it this week. That's my brief update and I'm going to go downstairs and do some work. I've also got some YouTube bits to do but I'll catch you up on everything and why I'm going to London as well a little bit later on. I just wanted to jump in here and show you guys this blazer that I've been wearing non-stop. You've probably seen it all over my Instagram, but I actually saved loads of money buying it using Karma. So thank you to them for sponsoring this part of the video. So Karma is a free app and Chrome extension, and it is an all-in-one shopping assistant that automatically helps you shop smart and save time and money. We'll search the web and automatically apply the best coupon code at the checkout for you, which is how I save 25% on this blazer. And you can plan your shopping and shop more mindfully by saving items into lists on your karma so i have one for clothes and one for home stuff and you'll get real-time price drop and back in stock notifications on the items that you've saved another amazing thing is karma cash which means you can earn cash back on your purchases with select partners it's really easy to install as a chrome extension which i will show on screen so make sure you click the link in my description to download karma in time for all of the spring sales Good morning guys, it is Wednesday now and I am in London. So we got here yesterday afternoon and just had a chill and made some dinner so I didn't really film any of it. I am at my boyfriend's for a couple of nights. So I did some essay work this morning and we are just about to head out to grab some lunch. After that, I'm actually going to meet my management for the first time. So they are my new management and I'm gonna to head to the offices just to say hi to them and have like an induction. I'm gonna go into Central with my boyfriend and then he is going to amuse himself for a little while while I go and have that meeting. So that's the main reason why I'm in London, but I thought it would also be a chance to have a nice couple of days with my boyfriend. Do you only have today as like the whole day? But we're gonna go grab some lunch, probably go book shopping. I'd really like to go book shopping and maybe get some dinner as well. And then I'm leaving tomorrow morning and he's got work tomorrow. So I will be back on the working grind on the train and then all day tomorrow and stuff as well. So I will bring you along for that as well. We are just about to head out now. So I will bring you along. So I didn't really film yesterday because I got the train home and I worked on the train and then I picked up some bits of food shopping, I cooked some dinner and water dog and stuff. Just had quite a few bits to get through and then I ended up working 
pretty much most of the evening I think until about nine o'clock but just because I really wanted to have finished the first half of my essay but it's split into two sections and I've read for and written the first section now it's a 3,000 word essay overall and I have written 3,000 words or like 2,500 words now on the first section um, which is obviously way too much so yes today I'm going to move on to the reading for the second section and just really try and get through that really quickly because they usually take me quite a while and I want to finish the whole essay by the end of this week um, so I've got three days to do that which I don't think is going to happen but I want to get as close to finishing it as possible and I will catch up with you properly at lunchtime because I have like a little book haul and stuff and chat about London and everything but yes let's go on with some work I'm just at the gym now and I'm about to head in and do an upper body day. I'm still on the Evolve You app, which I'm quite enjoying still. I'm training four days a week, but because I went up to London, I took three days off this week basically, which means I have to train today, tomorrow and Sunday to make sure that I can still do my four days. But yes, today is my upper body and then I've got my, I think like glutes and hamstrings. Actually no, it's my like strength lower body so like the squats so like the quads and calves day actually tomorrow and then my last upper body on sunday i'm gonna head into the gym and then i'm gonna pop to tesco and pick up some snacks so i'm always so snacky when i'm stuck in the house studying i think boredom really does breed hunger so i'm gonna pick up some of my favorite snacks to try and motivate me and keep me going through my working days i'm also out for dinner tonight but i'm gonna catch up with you guys properly after i've trained and had some lunch i think picked up some bits from tesco i have been obsessed with these they're so good i bought two packets i literally go through so many packets of these at the moment the only problem is once i start eating them i literally can't stop so yes pick those and then i've already eaten some of these but these are so good as well so guys i've just had some lunch and i thought i would quickly show you the books that i picked up while i was in london because i went to libraria which is i think probably my favorite bookstore it's definitely my favorite bookstore in london picked up nervous conditions which i've actually already read this morning body which i think is the third one i don't think you necessarily like have to read them in order but i saw this morning body in a shop i can't remember where and picked it up because i really liked the sound of it and then i found out after i'd read it that there were two other ones before that like kind of help that make the reading experience of the third one better hopefully i don't think it will matter too much that i've read them out of order but i bought the first one because i really enjoyed nervous conditions i will read you the blurb so two decades before zimbabwe would win independence and end white minority rule 13 year old tambudza embarks on her education. On her shoulders rest the economic hopes of her parents, siblings and extended family and within her burns a desire for independence. A timeless coming of age tale and a powerful exploration of cultural imperialism, nervous conditions, charts Tambu's journey to personhood in a nation that is also emerging. And then I also picked this up because they had it on display. They actually had it on display last time I went. I really didn't know what to buy. I was like wandering through and I wanted to pick up some books because I actually have read most of my books on my shelf. I usually have so many more books to read but yes I've managed to get through loads of them and I haven't been buying them at such a high rate as I used to. So yes I actually wanted to pick up something that I wanted to read straight away. I just picked this one up because they had it on display and I really do trust their recommendations in there. But yes it sounds like a bit of a weird one and it's a bit of like a cult classic. It's called The Minotaur Takes a Cigarette Break. 5,000 years after leaving the labyrinth the Minotaur or M as he's known to his colleagues is working as a lion chef at Grubbs Rip in California keeping his horns down, trying in vain to put his past behind him. He leads an ordered lifestyle in a shabby trailer park where he tinkers with cards, writes and rewrites to-do lists and observes the haphazard goings on around him. Outwardly controlled, M tries to hide his emotional turmoil as he is transported 
penetrated deeper into the human world of deceit, confusion and need. So those are the two that I picked up in Libraria and then I also picked up Working Hard, Hardly Working in Paperback in Sainsbury's, which I have already read. I just quite fancied having a physical copy and it was only £5 for the paperback in Sainsbury's. So I guess that is my little book haul and a book update. I finished A Little Life Morning. It took me I think probably a couple of weeks to read because it is quite long. I really enjoyed it. I was really nervous about all the trigger warnings and I would say if you haven't read it, make sure you read the trigger warnings before you go into it and I would say especially the self-harm is very graphic and is written about a lot in the book so I'd say if that seems like something that would trigger you I wouldn't read it like definitely wouldn't read it but I was really engrossed in it I loved how in-depth you got to like know the characters complex characters and just seeing the characters grow up from college like all the way into like their 50s I think I loved the writing style I loved feeling engrossed in that I loved the fact that it was set in New York and they travel a lot in it but I do think that there is some merit to people who call it trauma porn like there is so many horrible and negative things I think I would have enjoyed it more if there was a little bit less of that and I do think at times like it wasn't necessary to be as graphic as it was but obviously that's a choice that the author made as soon as I finished it I googled like books like a little life because I want to have that similar like reading experience again overall I really enjoyed it and I loved reading a longer book and like really getting engrossed in it and really getting to know the characters if you are going to read it check the trigger warnings and go into it knowing that it's not a light read so that is my reading update and I'm going to get back to doing some more readings for my essay now which is going okay-ish like I'm getting through them at an okay rate. So guys I've been working all afternoon I think I stopped at about quarter to six and then I got ready quickly because I am going out for dinner with the girls which I'm really excited for we're just going to an Italian place that is close by I actually need to leave now because I think we're walking down together thank you I need chili oil black pepper for you <laughs>